Welcome to Book Time with Ryan. I am Ryan, and today I'll be talking about NFTs are a scam. NFTs are the future by Bobby Hundreds. Check out this cover. It's hard to really show how nice this cover is, but you can kind of, there we go. You can kind of see Bobby Hundreds here. Uh, Bobby Hundreds, uh, actual name is Bobby Kim. He's known as Bobby Hundreds. And he and somebody named Ben run a clothing company, a streetwear brand clothing company called The Hundreds. Not to be confused with The Hundred, which is a cricket tournament in the UK. It has two names, right? NFTs are a scam. NFTs are the future. I like the way they did the cover. And there's like cool artwork inside. Um... Even, actually, you know, even the, it's really hard to show this, but even the spine's pretty cool looking uh, underneath the, um, the dust jacket. I'm not going to talk about NFTs in this video. Um, you can look up NFTs all you want. NFTs are non-fungible tokens. Uh, if you're thinking about NFTs and, and you, you think that you've heard about it, it's in the same general area as cryptocurrencies, blockchain, Bitcoin. That's where you probably have heard it in the past. It is part of Web3, where the social media, like this BookTube channel, is Web2. You can look up NFTs. Uh, this book specifically is for the early years, 2020 to 2023 by Bobby Hundreds. So he is looking at, Bobby is looking at the time that this really started to blow up. 2020 to 2023, this is really up to date. I mean, we're, I, I don't know when this, what month this came out in, but... I bought it because I like the cover and I don't regret buying things for the covers. So, so there, uh, I am going to talk about what I like about the way he writes because I, I did, I really liked it. It's very much in a common everyday tone and voice that makes it feel like you're listening to a friend talk about something he's gone through. And I feel like Bobby hundreds really presents both sides of the book, really. Are they a scam? Are they the future? Uh, what's the difference? What's the positive? What's the negative? And uh, what do people need to watch out for? What, what, what has he experienced as he rolled out an NFT uh, for Adam Bomb Squad, part of the hundred? hundreds the hundreds he goes back and forth throughout this book it's basically he's he's covering the three-year period and he is including things he's written in the past so some of this has been overcome by or overtaken by events some of it proved true some of it proved i don't want to say false but didn't didn't turn out the way he was thinking early on i, I feel like he's very even-handed in expressing some of the risks not all of them, but some of the risk and how he's benefited or how he's experienced the process that he went through. Building a brand, building a community, and how NFTs were used for that community or for that brand. Uh, it's not an especially long book. It's 290 pages, but it, it's it's not a giant book. So it's, it's a shorter, the pages aren't huge. Also interspersed with his essays are interviews. Q and A's that he had with people in the space. And I thought those were really interesting too. And, and I found personally, I thought that a lot of those interviews were also fairly measured by the individuals that he talked to. Some things I did not expect. Bobby talks about God in this book. And even in the acknowledgements, God is the first being uh, thanked in the acknowledgements. You don't see that a lot. And I, I don't know if, if it's a space that people, I don't know. First, I don't know about streetwear. I, I don't know what people are like in that community. I just, I did not imagine that there would be an openness to religion, Christianity, and I think Christianity, um, and and there is in this book, um, which was interesting. Good job, Bobby. I'm, I'm glad that you are comfortable talking about it. I think a lot of people aren't. I don't know how old Bobby is, but I felt like, I'm 39, I, I felt like he was probably... I don't know, within five or 10 years of me, uh, older because he has older kids, but also you know, people have kids when they're younger too. So I don't know, his kids are definitely older than my five-year-old, but I don't know when he started. Uh, but he just, 
he feels like a very measured person and the only issues that I had, or I just don't know anything about the hundreds. I don't know about streetwear, so I don't know where where the hundreds falls in the landscape of streetwear or fashion. I did like the writing style, and I thought it was a very timely subject, and I really enjoyed it. He also brought up Codex Serafinianus. Codex Serafinianus. Yes, I did an unboxing of the 40th anniversary of the deluxe edition of Codex Serafinianus. It is my most successful, most watched video on my booktube channel. Let's check it out. And later, I felt like because I was so successful and he had other books, uh, not all of which I have, I also included a spotlight of Luigi Serafini, uh, the creator of Codex Serafinianus. That was kind of cool to see Bobby reference Codex Serafinianus because I like Codex Serafinianus too. Um, that's that's it. This is not a huge, long review. I would just say if you are interested in cryptocurrency, if you're interested in smart contracts, blockchain technology, Bitcoin, altcoins, Ethereum, this has that something that will appeal to you. Uh, I think it's fine for beginners to read. I think it's fine for insiders to read. I think probably the two groups would take something different away from the book. But it's not its not so complicated that if you're a beginner, if you're just kind of wading into that, that you don't know anything. This is not written at a level that's above your head. I think it's written in a way that it's really to appeal to a wide array of, of audiences and... It's written in a way that it's very conversational. One thing, one thing that stood out for me. Bobby Hundreds misuses the word notorious. Uh, it is not, I think a lot of people do. It is not famous. When you talk about notoriety, when you talk about notorious, that's bad publicity. That's a bad identity. It's a negative thing. Uh, it is not... Famous. It is not synonymous with famous. It is not synonymous with recognized, at least not for positive reasons. So that's that's the only thing. I kept seeing Notorious, and every time I saw it, I was like, don't use it that way. But everything else, very interesting book to read. So thanks. Have a good one. Bye. Come on now. What's his name?